Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome to a let's look at of Battle Block Theatre, specifically this is the Steam Edition as it did come out on 360 quite some time ago now. I passed on it on that and I've been hoping for quite a while for it to make its way onto PC, it finally has and I'm very glad to be showing you this because I'm a big fan of games by the Behemoth. They are also well known for doing Castle Crashers which I loved a lot, did a full playthrough of actually, and also Alien Hominid which I haven't actually played yet. Either way, this is their most recent game and Spoiler warning for the rest of the video really, I love this a whole lot. But we are going to get into it. There is a multiplayer mode, there is also a level editor mode. We might take a quick look at them towards the end of the video, but for now I'm going to do local game. So that's basically just single player and we have the story, the arena mode, and we have fur bottoms features, which I've never actually gone into. Let me just see what this is. Okay, this is rather confusing. I'll look at this later, I don't want to spoil too much because a lot of this is enjoyment from exploring for yourself. So we'll go into the story mode. And there is a insane mode which I've never touched. Let's just stick with normal mode. So that's the first of what you're going to hear of the narrator. He is excellent, by the way. Very, very funny and very well acted. So yeah, we do get to customise a character. And if we were playing co-op, both local and over the internet, we get to customise a character. And you unlock additional faces. So this is what my character looks like at the moment. The top left there with the cat kind of straddled on his head. Um, I've unlocked a few different ones for this shape of head, as you can see there, I've got quite a few. Very, very weird ones. But you can also unlock ones for different shaped heads. So for example, if I want it to be triangle head, I can now go through all the ones I've unlocked for that. And then there's square shaped heads, which are... I don't have many of those yet, actually. And then that's the, the, that's the very stereotypical Castle Crasher shaped head. So it would not surprise me if there wasn't a Castle Crasher's head for this face, that's like a shoot the whoop one. So yeah, I've unlocked a bunch of stuff. I'm going to stick with what I have so far. So I'm going to stick with the cat straddling my circle man's face head. You also get to pick two weapons. Now this is one of the things that is new to the Steam version, as in the 360 version you only had one active weapon. So currently I have a grenade, and I also have, I guess it's a Kamehameha. You'll see what it is when I use it. And I'm sticking with my team colour red, so we'll jump in now. And this is just loading into the, the overworld. I am currently one and a half hours into the game which has comprised, although there's all the heads I haven't unlocked for just this shape of head, so there, I mean there's that many for each head shape. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I think I'm halfway through part three, this is us in chapter one here, uh, through here is chapter two, yeah I think I'm like halfway through chapter three or maybe four at this point and I think there's eight chapters in total. Not a massively long game, however, replayability does come from trying to beat your scores, which I'll show you more about in a second, and then also the online components. Now, first of all, rather than have to explain what the hell's going on here in this hor horrific prison manned by these evil ginger cats, I'd rather replay the very first cutscene, which I think is absolutely wonderful. So let's see, can I get it to replay the intro? Possibly. In options. Ah, movie theatre, that sounds... Uh, the movie theatre is only available when you are not in a game session. Right then, we're going back to the main menu because I want to show off the main intro because it will set up the game far better than I ever will. So let's try that again. We'll go to movie theatre, we've got a trailer. Ah yeah, and there are indeed eight chapters and I am currently... Yeah, I'm in chapter three but I haven't finished it yet so I haven't unlocked it. But anyway, I'll be quiet now and let the story begins play out. It's a little bit on the long side but I hope you'll agree once you finish watching it that, watching it, that it is well worth watching. And then we'll get into some gameplay and I'll talk a little bit about my first impressions of the game. So, anyway, enjoy. Good evening boys and girls, ladies, mmm, and a gentleman. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cosy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Shh. Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? But it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like king friend of Friendship Kingdom. Best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentlemen. Now, one fine morning, Hattie and pals set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic... 
fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today, t'was a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high, everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise and a huge, massive storm brewed out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Is everyone okay? said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you, Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time, twice as big. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed. He was mad. And the rain came down like a shower of bullets off. Ah! And the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams. And then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like, I say, gentlemen, I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother. And everyone else was like, really? What tipped you off, genius? And then Hattie was all like, hey, be nice. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Huge giant waves thrashed the boat to and fro. Fro and to. Carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold, unforgiving abyss of the deep deep, dark ocean. Everyone was screaming like, help me! Splash! Splash! And there was this huge whale like, and made it super scary. And I think there was a shark. Yep, there he is. Oh, God. And then Hattie was all like, hold on to your butts. Land ho! And bang, bang, bang! Smash! A shipwreck has foretold by their fate books of fate. And while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS Friendship. So there we go. I love the narrator. Very well done. And the Behemoth just in general have a really great sense of humour. It was present all throughout Castle Crashers as well. It's done even better here. And we'll hear more of the narrator actually once we go into my game proper this time. So the game, I guess, is like an adventure platformer. Puzzles are included. There's a competitive edge if you are doing the multiplayer side, or a, comp or a cooperative side if you're playing with a friend. A little bit Super Meat Boy-ish, I guess, is another way to compare. And we'll just stick with what I had. I'll show a little bit of the early stages to start with to get a little bit of an idea about how the, play the game plays, and then I'll skip ahead to some stages that I've never done before, because I want to show off a genuine challenge because keep in mind, I've obviously played these early stages, so I'll know what I'm doing, and I can do them much quicker than normal. Although, I will be pausing to explain things, so I don't think I'll be getting any awards for speedrunning. So yes, the first chapter, Betrayed by Harry. So we get these stages. There's two sets of three on each floor. There's also a gift shop where we can spend the gems we pick up in stages, and also the balls of string. And I guess I can look at that once we've done some stages. But we've gone long enough without actually showing how the game plays. So let's jump into the very first stage, and we'll see what we have to do. They put the gems, but I'm not gonna. So the general idea is you need to collect three gems on a stage to open up the exit and then you can go to the next stage. However, there's always more than three gems on a stage. Usually there is six, I believe, and you are rewarded with a better grade for collecting above and beyond the amount you require and also for finding the hidden hairballs. By the way, the music in the game is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Some tracks more than others, but anyway, this is what our character looks like. I can punch, I can slide, I can double jump, sometimes triple jump actually. And if I press on B, I'm using the 360 controller by the way, and it's recommended that you do, and I entirely agree. So if I press B, I've got my grenades equipped, so I can use that to kill stuff. And new to the Steam version, I can tap the shoulder button to change to the other equipped item I have to do, like the Kamehameha electric pulse balls of death. And I actually hit myself with that, I think. Anyway, I'll stick with the grenades because they're better. What other buttons do we have? We have a, a help me button, I'm not sure what that's for. Um, we also have a button we can hold to suicide, but I won't do that just yet. And yeah, let's just carry on. There's more things that are introduced as you go along, climbing and um, being able to paddle, it, or paddle boats to you, I should say. But there we go, that's showing me I've got one gem. These are checkpoints, so if I die, I respawn, and there's an evil bastard cat enemy who I'm going to get into a fist fight with, or a foot fight as the case may be. I missed! Oh, I killed us both. Well, that's fine. <laughs> so 
So yeah, there we go. That's the basics of how Battle Block Theatre plays. We are held prisoner and we are putting on the show for the audience that you can see in the bottom of the screen there. The sick cats. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> I was just put that out there. So I'm kind of glad that they're the enemy and I enjoy getting one up on them as we move on. So I believe in the 360 version as well that the cat enemies were not as... There either wasn't as many types or they just weren't in it at all. So they might be new even if you are familiar with that version of it. So that introduced us to teleports, that's water hazards, and these are bouncy squares. So there's the exit over there, but we need one more gem or it won't open. So let's have a little look and see if we can find one. And that's the collectible ball of yarn. And our score is being kept up the top. I don't think I ever went down this way. Hmm, what's over here? Nothing. Oh, we came back this way, right. I see. Moving on, we now need to go find the last gem or we can't escape. There it is. And like that, we're done. Very simple introductory stage to show you what the hell is going on. And we're rated by how many gems in total we got, whether we got the yarn or not, and whether we did it quickly enough. Oh yeah, there's actually two stages I didn't do in this world, because after you finish the boss of the region you get three encore stages which are time trials. Let's do one of the time trials I've not actually done yet. So if we exit the level, yes. Exit the level. Just fart yourself out of existence, that's correct. And we'll go up and we'll do the time trials I haven't done yet. So I think there are stages I've done already in this world, it's just you have to do them very fast. Oh, well, for example, these are poles that you can climb. And there's also like slime walls you can slowly descend, there's jetpacks, there's angel wings, there's a whole host of stuff. And it all just combines to be an incredibly enjoyable experience. I've only spent, as I say, just over an hour and a half now with the game, but I've loved every minute. And that's entirely solo. The game can only get better when you look at the co-op side of... How am I supposed to do that? Yeah, that would kill me. <laughs> Is there a hidden path? Is that something I can pick up? Oh, I see. I have to fall and then maybe double jump. I don't know. Yep, yeah, that's how I was to do it. That's actually quite devilish. And obviously there's also that aspect of... Uh oh! <laughs> that aspect of having tons of stuff to unlock. There's just ridiculous numbers of hats for your various player types. And weapons as well. Not all of the weapons are useful, I would say, but... Oh, that's death down there. I want that ball of yarn. Also, I must remember this is time, so I can't stop and explain things. This is ice, though. I will explain that much. Oh, get through the teleport. Thank you. What do we have here? Right, we have exploding blocks and platformers. The only thing with doing this kind of stage is, I, because I can't stop to concentrate on what I'm saying, you're going to have to put up with rather disjointed commentary for a little while. Well, I concentrate on doing this as well as I can. And please excuse the really, really loud ice cream van. <laughs> oh, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I need them to reappear, damn it. Do you see what I did wrong? I made them trigger from the wrong end. I need them to explode from this end. Otherwise, I can't jump up. So we need to wait. Wait again. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. I think we're almost there. I certainly hope we're almost there. Ooh, that's us got all of them, I think. Still got a minute to get to the exit, and there's the exit right there. Excellent, that was actually pretty challenging compared to the the difficulty of stage that I've unlocked up to so far. And as I do the next encore stage in the first world, how well did I do there? Oh, everything! Fantastic, you get bonus gems for that. I will start going over how you can get Battle Block Theatre for yourself, and I do highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. You can get the 360 version, I'm not sure what price they're asking for for that version, but the Steam version, you can buy one version of it for yourself for £10.99. Or you can buy a co-op pack, so that's two copies of the game, for eighteen ninety nine for a bit of a saving between you and a friend. Uh, or you can buy Battle Block Theater and Castle Crashers together, and Castle Crash oh, I've messed this up entirely. And Castle Crashers, once again, fantastic game. I did a playthrough of it if you want to get a bit of footage of it. I think I need to let these disappear before I go down. I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah, the combination pack of the two games, just one copy of each, is also £18.99. pence. Oh, how am I meant to do that? Hmm. Let's see here. That's how. Just go slowly, slowly. There we go. I was messing up royally. I have very little in the way of bad things to say about the game. 
Oh, I needed to... Oh, made it. Can I even think of any bad things? The, the narrator might get a bit annoying. I've heard him repeating dialogue during stages a few times, but I honestly really like him, so... I don't have any problem with him. You might, but there is also an option... Oh, I really should pay attention to what I'm doing. There is an option to lessen his... Um, Frequency of talking, shall we say. That's a boat I just freed, right? Yeah, it is. So yeah, that one complaint I have, you can get rid of it. Anything else? Eight chapters, not a massive game. But as I say, there's player-made levels, there's adversarial modes. So it's not like there isn't longevity to be found. It has Steam integration also. Oh, hang on, that's a laser. Yeah. It has Steam integration, so player-made maps will be easy to find, as well as additional mods and whatnot. There's also Steam trading as well. Ah, so I'm still too shy. Oh, that's stopping my jumping, eh? That's annoying. Get up there! No, I can't. No! Hmm. Oh, if I touch that roof, it's going to be a world of hurt. Oh. Right, I see. Oh god. <laughs> Stop the madness! How there? Oh, I've only got 13 seconds left. I'm not going to make that. Oh, I might. No. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it. I know what I had to do, but wow, this is a really, really tough stage. Probably the hardest I've seen so far, actually. Scene failed. Will I retry? Yeah, let's try it one more time and then I'll go into some normal stages that I haven't done yet. And we'll see how they fare. So, as long as there's nothing as annoying as the final boss in Castle Crashers, I'll be fine. Alright, so I'll come over here to waste a little bit of time and then slowly do this. Oh, I messed up. I did, I did the jump too early. Well, that's a kick in the pants, but we'll do it this time. And let's see here. Just slowly move along. Just There we go. Get that. Did I come up this way last time? I didn't, did I? So that's why I was one shy as well. There we go. What bit is this? Ah. Alright. Let's just keep on going quickly if possible. This is the bit where I need to get the boat. Oh! I didn't realise the boat landing on you could kill you, but I didn't really cost me anything. So let's just carry on and get this checkpoint over here. I'm making much better time now, I think. Controls very, very smooth, by the way. I find combat a little bit weird, and that's me being polite about it. Oh, I messed that up. Let's hurry more speed. There we go. Which bit is this? Right, so now I'm just one shy, but unfortunately I still need to come this way. Damn. That is really, really difficult. Oh dear. So that takes me three jumps to get up there. Very nearly got eviscerated there. Now I can make this first jump easy enough because I can do that. I can do that. Yep. Okay, come on. Yes! Done it! Thank goodness for that! Did I say thank? I meant thank. I've been hanging around Panda again for too long. Okay, we'll try a couple of stages I've never tried before, the normal stages. I'll also show off what you can do with those gems and hairballs, although I've already said, but I like the collect them all mechanic as it were. So let's go back down to the gift shop. I don't know if there's a quick way to go between layers in a stage. I would really like it if there was. It saves me jumping down the stairs every time I want to go to the gift shop, but still, let's go in and have a look. Get in my way, evil cat faces. So we have 27 gems and 7 balls of string. That means I can buy a new weapon. Okay, give me up. Give me the prompt. Oh, there we are. So I got boomerang, I think that was. I think it was. Let's see if I can get some more head types for this. So this is the circle head, let's see. Oh, got a ninja, I like that. 
and whatever the hell that is. Good. So let's give that new boomerang a try. We'll leave and it gives you the option to customise. So we'll stick with that, with that, with that, and we'll try that. It does seem like it's a boomerang to me. Let's equip. It is indeed. I've seen some of the cat enemies use that. I'll stick with my grenades and can I go back out? I can. Good. Right, yes. So, world three. Let's see where I'm up to. I think that's registering how well you've done on each stage as well. So I've not done any of the Encores in World 2. That makes sense. Yeah, so that's what that is. Right, so World 3. Only done the first three stages of it. So let's do the next three and then I'll probably end there. If you want to see the rest for yourself, you will need to pick it up. And once again, highly, highly recommended. I don't really have any significant complaints at all at this point. Although do keep in mind these are first impressions and by the end of the game I may change my mind. I don't see that being the case and I do definitely intend to finish the game off camera. I am interested in trying the cooperative aspects of it as well. The adversarial side doesn't really do anything for me, but it's there for those who need more stuff to do. Get away from me, cat things. Evil cat bastards! Don't try and lick me! Oh, you git! You know what? Some people just want to see the world burn. I will explode your face. Oh, they exploded my face. Well, you know what? Two can play at that! Why didn't that grenade throw? There we go. Satisfied that I have exploded all the cats, so let's carry on and do the stage. So turret guns is definitely the flavour of the week on this stage. Ah, they're moving quite quick as well. Alright, that was easy enough. First checkpoint. Ah, angel wings. Hmm. Okay, so I can get out now, but I want to see what secrets there are to be found. And there's moving blocks as well. You see that? The blocks just randomly decide to move. It's annoying. <laughs> Evil cat thing. Hey, where are you going? That's right, I'll beat the crap out of you. Come here. Explode your face. Nice. Alright, so I can't get down there yet. But I can if I do this. Well, I might as well get that gem while I'm here. What do we have down here? A checkpoint and... Huh. Oh, that's where the exit is. No, I didn't want to... I kind of wanted to get that last gem, but never mind. Did the stage, won't have the best score. We'll have an okay score, though. Didn't find the ball of yarn, either. Maybe did it quite cool. Oh, no, that's pretty nasty. I can do better than that, but for the sake of not showing off the same stage twice, we'll just push on here and we'll do the rest of this act, or scene, whatever it refers to as. What am I missing here? That's what I'm missing. There we are. Oh, right. I see. So I can drop down, grab, boing. And boing. Okay then. Right, so how am I doing this? I can power that off if I drop here. Did I want to do that? I guess so. Oh yeah, give me enough lift to jump up here, right. Okay, my boat isn't going to do anything sitting here. Let's see, what else can I do? Oh, <laughs> I made that cat float. That's okay then. Right. I see. So now I need to go back here. And... Hmm. How do I get back over? I need to keep that like that, I think. Or can I? Oh no, I can push it from that side. There we go. So now I can pull this boat towards me and off we go. I don't want to do anything up there. If I make this stop, he'll... Um, I may have forgotten to hold on to the button. There we go. If I do this, he'll die in the spikes, right? No, because they reappear too soon. Damn. Let's leave him levitating. Oh wait, I can't, because then I can't get back. Never mind. Move on. Oh, he's got grenades. Hmm. Yeah, I figured. I, I wondered if I could bounce past, but no.
I need to leave that like that. That's what I need to do. All right. Unfortunately, we've got to wait for the boat to come all the way back over here now, but eh, it goes pretty quick, so that's not too bad. The puzzles are getting more challenging. There is definitely that. Also, I could have turned off those fans by doing that. And that. Uh, there we go. Screw you, cat. Yeah, I am feeling challenged. It started off very easy, but it is, it is increasing at a steady pace, I would say. How would one get that? You have to hit the teleporter back there. Not like that. I can get that, though. Like so. Even if I die right after, it doesn't matter. Got the ball of yarn. That's one more weapon unlock. Oh, how did I get up there last time? Oh, I need both jetpacks for a double boost, I think. There we go. Backwards and X. It's teaching me to slide, but why? One slide killed him? Really? Matrix dodge? Oh! Okay, found a secret. <laughs> keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Now this obviously has gotten to that point in a let's look at where I am now just playing the game. So if you don't want to see the solutions to puzzles, or you know, screwing up puzzles like that. Really? I didn't get checkpoints since here? You may just want to stop watching now if you've made your decision on whether or not this is something for you. Leave knowing that I highly recommend it, though. Whoop, that was nearly. Why would I want to put that there? I don't. Ah, that's a checkpoint I missed because I took that shortcut last time. Okay, should have paddled that towards me, but never mind because the checkpoint is right here. Ow. Good job resets are nice and quick. What was I doing here again? Oh yeah. That's what I should have done. Evil cat. Said evil cat. Ah, there's one of those big, yeah, whatever the hell they are. I have tested and they are unkillable. You go down there and eat it. Go on. Ugh, oh, screw you. <laughs> I'll just explode every cat in existence. That's all there is to it. Or get myself eaten as well, that's fine too. Oh, there we go, he's... His hunger has been sated. Oh, okay. I don't like how far away you can be and they grab you. I also don't like that they're unkillable. That bugs me a lot. Because I sat, like, throwing grenades at one of these gits for ages. Well, for every reason he got tired and that let me do it. Good. So one more stage. And then we'll start wrapping up here. By the way, in the description box below, there will be relevant links both to the Behemoth's website and also to the Steam Store page. Although, do keep in mind, if you want, you can pick it up on 360 as well. But this version has the integration with Steam, obviously, that the console version won't have. It also has the weapon switching mechanic, although it's not too necessary, I, I don't think. And also the, the new enemies. That's the additions. Ow. Let's try that again. Well, I got it, so I don't need to go back over there, I don't think, unless there's something else down the bottom. Mm. Why would I want to come down here? Oh, there is something across the way there. Let's see, what do we have here? We have a checkpoint. And then we have fans that I really should switch off. Good. Moving on. Oh, right. Can't catch me. I didn't press the button enough. Okay, maybe he can catch me then, because I need to go back now, and he's there. Come this way, Fido. Chase me! Chase me! This time I won't stop pressing the button prematurely! <laughs> there probably is an item up there, or a secret, but never mind. And you cannot blow them up, I didn't think so. Ah, there's the ball of yarn. Now, will my wings last that long? Yes, yes they will. Okay. That's fine, I got the item. I'm not sure if I need to go up or down. Let's see what's down. Somewhere where I needed the wings to get another gem. That's annoying, I should have got the, that first. 
But oh well, let's carry on up here, get that checkpoint, and see what fresh hell awaits us. Why am I wanting to do this though? Oh, I see what I need to do. Devilish! Have you worked it out? Because that'll give me enough height to do that. Right, I can just leave, so I guess I will. Missed one gem, obviously. Oh, damn, there was a gem over there I could have got. Damn! OCD is killing me. I want to go back and do that straight away, but I'll do it off camera. I'll go back to the, uh, the main menu now in a second. Oh, yeah, that's a nasty rank for that one. But still, nothing but good things to say about Battle Block Theory. I highly recommend it, and I suggest that you check it out at your earliest convenience. To finish off, why don't I show you one more of the cinematics, because I love the cinematics. As I say, the narrator does a fantastic job. There's not particularly any spoilers, really. Hattie just kind of gets possessed by an evil hat and is now doing the bidding of the evil cats who want you to, you know, dance for their amusement, essentially. So I'll show you the Chapter 2 movie. And with that, as it plays out, I will say thank you very much for watching. If you want to support the developer or me in a free way that only takes a second of your time, consider leaving a like on the video. It helps out a whole lot. My name has been Flick, and this has been Battle Block Theatre by The Behemoth. And with that, I will say ta-ta for now. And here's a movie to enjoy on the way out. Quite a bite of bullet so far. You don't even complain about the prison food, which is shocking because that stuff tastes like doo-doo casserole with a side of butt salad. But best of all, your riveting performances have the theater bursting at the seams with excited patrons. And with all this extra cash you're raking in, the theater can afford some serious improvements and really start beefing up these horrifying shows of murdery death to appease the fickle crowd. So, so that's good. And what's the deal with Hattie? He just creepily looms around the theater all day. Look at him looming. It seems like he's been forcefully forced to manage this place. Well, it looks that way. He just sort of sits there. Just as productive as one can be. Yep, living life to the fullest. Whoa, slow down, buddy. Yes, sir, full of salt and pep. Full of pee and vinegar. Overflowing with youthful energy. Say something, Hattie. Cat got your tongue? Shut up. You know, people really seem to be a precious and rare commodity in this strange part of the world. Seems our little boat wreck was a delicious gift from the heaven gods, and these bizarre cats are taking full advantage of us. What cruel fate left them to roam the grounds of this scary old theater, desperately ruling these bleak premises with an iron f paw? And just how long have they been orchestrating this sinister scheme? I mean, avert your eyes, children. Avert them! There's bony people skeletons everywhere. Scary, right? Now, I'm no genius, but I definitely know how long it takes for a body to decompose. So this must have been going on for at least... Oh, wait, scratch that thing I said. <clears throat> so do you possess the courage to soldier onward and uncover the mysterious mystery behind this grim world? Or will your hilarious death screams be drowned out by the sound of your own hilarious death screams? We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. You see?